Hello and welcome. Today we're working on a loan amortization schedule or sometimes called an amortization table in Excel. Hello, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn where I help you finally learn financial literacy including Excel. So here we're going to do a simple example of a home loan and we'll do the amortization schedule. Now the amortization schedule breaks up the payment into an interest component and a principal component. So I just have four numbers to get started. So let's say we have the loan is 200,000. Now we're going to build this in such a way you can change that number. You can make it 247,300, right? Or 327,000. We'll say the number of years is 30. We'll say the annual interest rate is 5% and the periods per year is 12. It's going to be a monthly payment. So what is our periodic interest rate? I think that's going to be helpful to do. So 5% divided by the 12. Just run the math. Don't enter any other numbers here and you'll be, uh, you can change then the interest rate and the amount and things like that. The number of periods is going to be 30 years times the 12. And then the payment is a time value of money calculation called payment PMT. So we'll search for PMT. We'll take the rate, which is the periodic rate. You have to put 5 divided by 12, or just, I calculated the periodic rate so you can kind of see, hey, we're using the periodic rate. The number of periods is 360. The present value is 200,000. The future value is going to be 0. I'm, I'm going to enter that number here, 0. And the payments happen at the end of the period, so therefore, 0 again. Now the answer is going to come out to be negative. We don't want to show it as negative. Um, uh, conceptually that's correct because out of your pocket every month is going to be $1,073. We want to make it um, a positive number. We don't want to show it as negative. So we put a negative in front on the payment. And so the payment is $1,073 every month. If you buy this house, it's going to be $1,073. Okay, so we need to put period 0 through 360. Now one thing you can do is you can put 0 and then 1 and then 2 and it recognizes that there is a sequence and you copy it all the way down to 360. That's pretty slow. So let me show you another way to do it. Let's start with 0 and there is a new function. Now, I'm using Excel 365. If you have Excel 365 then you have a sequence function and the sequence function is really easy and it solves a problem that we that we used to have in Excel. So here the sequence function is we want 360 rows in one column. We're going to start at the number one and we're going to go up by one every time. So watch what happens. It's going to return one through 360. So it just takes a few seconds and we have all those periods. Now the balance starts at 200000 on this loan. And then what happens each month? Each month we have a little bit of interest, and the interest is a little bit less than half percent per month. So the payment every time is going to be that 1073 So I'm going to point to the 1073 and we need to make an absolute by putting dollar signs. So absolute address means I can just copy B10 down. And I can copy it all the way down. I can double click, go to the right corner, double click, sends it all the way down to 360 rows. That's pretty fantastic. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take a total of that column. So if you're on uh, Windows, it's Control Shift down arrow. I'm on Mac, so it's Command Shift down arrow. So I've selected the entire column, and I'm going to do a keyboard shortcut, Command Shift T. Or if it's um, you're on Windows, it is Alt equals, and that's the auto sum. So the sum of that entire column, all the payments total up to be 386,511. So the total that you're going to pay back is 386,000 on this $200,000 loan. All right, so let's keep going. get to the top here now interest 
is going to be 200,000 times the 0.4%, and that's going to be $833. So if we make a payment of 1,073 and our interest is 833, then our principal is going to be 1,073 minus the 833, and the principal, we're paying off this loan in the amount of $240. Now our balance of the loan is going to go 200,000 down, so minus $240. So that's 199,759. We make it a thousand dollar payment and the balance only goes down 240 because a lot of that is interest. So let's do it row two for payment two. Let's do this so we can copy it all the way down. We don't want to do this repetitively for 360 months. We're going to take the preceding 199,000 times the 0.4 percent we'll make that absolute that's the f4 function so 832 dollars is the interest so we have the payment minus the interest is going to be 241 dollars so our balance the carrying value of the loan goes down to 241 thousand after you make the second payment, you say, hey, what is my balance of my loan? It's 199518 We should be able to take this row and now copy it all the way down. We can check our work by saying, does it pay off all the way down to zero? It does. So let's calculate the total interest and the total principal. The total interest is 186 and the total principal is 200000 Now we already knew the total principal, but that's how this loan works. So the very last payment is just a small amount of interest and a large amount of principal payment. So let's finish this up with one more thing. Let's calculate and just put in the table where you can see it at the very top. What is our total interest? Our total interest, if we go down here, our total interest is 186000 Total interest is 186000 Our total principal, we know, is the 200000 Let's just point to it, 200000 So that means the total of this loan is going to be 386000 So at 5%, now what if you can get a 4% loan? Well, does that change anything? Well, it, it'll change everything, right? So 4%, now watch. Our payment goes from $1,070, whatever it was, down to $954. Our total interest goes way down, and our total payments are $343,000. Now watch, it was $1,073 and $186,000 of interest, and at 4%, it's $143,000. So it saves us thousands of dollars if we had just 1% reduction in interest rate. All right, so this is how you do a home loan amortization schedule. You can do it in Excel. You can change it. You can do it for 15 years or 20 years or do it for five years for a car loan. Hey, thanks for watching. If this is good content for you, please consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video.